Now it's time to check out the answer to the question, what does a German motorcycle company with over 90 years of rich history build from scratch if it wants to go racing in the World Superbike Championship? BMW Motorrad's answer, the company's first superbike, the S1000 RR. At the heart of this puppy is a brand new fuel-injected titanium-valved 1000cc inline-4 power plant that BMW claims produces 193 horsepower at 13,000 RPM. Pretty impressive when you consider that this package is said to weigh as felt 403 pounds dripping wet. Then there's the super trick racing bits, like the dynamic traction control that delivers four riding modes, rain, sport, race, and slicks. Not to mention the ABS brakes and the gear shift assist. But as we always say, looks good standing still, but how does it work out on the road? Well, this week we invited Women's Cup professional road racer and Kawasaki ZX6 ace Vicky Shouten to sample the S1000 RR. And here's what she had to say after a day in the saddle. Now, Vicky, this has been a really unusual day. We've been fighting the weather since the crack of dawn, but I know you've had a lot of time on the bike now. What was your first impression when you saw the bike? My first impression was what an amazing looking motorcycle and it's not Japanese. Um, you know, BMW's gotten into the sport bike market and in a huge way. Uh, I was really impressed. It's a hot looking bike and I was actually pretty excited to ride it even though it was raining. Well, it was definitely purpose built, right, for one thing and that was racetracks around the world. Um, that motor, for instance, all new, what did you think of the engine? Lots of power, uh, 193 horsepower as I understand it, which is plenty. Uh, didn't get a chance to ride it too much today in the rain. But the electronics package that came with this bike, man, it was incredible. You know, be riding in the rain today, having the traction control and the ABS brakes, not once did the wheel lock up on me. It was so nice, so nice to know that there's four different modes on this motorcycle, one being rain, right. which is pretty much what I used all day today. So it just brings the motor down a little bit. It doesn't have quite as much horsepower in the rain mode, I noticed. Right. Now it's a big, it's a leader bike, right? Uh, what did you think of the sound of it with the throttle open? Sounded really good. In fact, we were, there was a couple of us riding together today and that's the first thing that both people said to me was, man, that motorcycle sounds good. I mean, all leader bikes sound really good, but this one's got sort of a rumbly, uh, rumbly sound to it, so it was kind of nice. Now what about the brakes? It's a pretty impressive Brembo system up there. What did you think of the braking? Well, with a motorcycle like this, you do need some good stopping power. Uh, you know, you can use this bike on the racetrack or on the street, and the Brembos were awesome. They stop on a dime. The ABS brakes again in the rain. Not once did I worry about locking the front up, which was kind of nice, um, but definitely solid braking system, and, and BMW has done a really nice job there. Okay. Um, shifting, you, you commented a few times about that. You like the quick shifter, huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if any other superbikes come stock with a quick shifter. I guess uh, they call it a gear shift assist here at BMW, but it's basically a quick shifter, and you can basically run through the gears gearing up without taking your hand off the throttle, which is uh, really comfortable. It's a lot. It saves you milliseconds on the track, which is, of course, where you want to bring this bike once you get it off the street. But the other nice thing about the chassis and the setup is you'll notice on the both on the top of the forks as well on the shock. There's numbers that indicate where the dials are at when you want right. to make your suspension adjustments. So say, for example, you want to leave your house and you want to ride to the racetrack and do a track day, but maybe you want to stiffen up your suspension a little bit. You know, you don't have to guess. It takes the guesswork right out of it. The numbers are like right there. Right. Same thing on the shock. The numbers are right there. So I was really impressed with that. I mean, this, this truly is a motorcycle that you can go out, bum around town with your friends on a little bit. And if one of your buddies wants to do a track day, ride it out to the track, don't get a trailer, don't waste your time with a truck or anything, yeah. bring it out to the racetrack, set it up in race mode, which is one of the four modes, you know, st 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 stiffen up your suspension a little bit if you need to, and away you go. Right. 1,000cc racetrack ready sport bike. Who do you recommend this bike to? If you're the kind of person that wants to go fast around town with your buddies, absolutely this is the bike for you. If you want to go to the racetrack, maybe do a few track days, definitely this is the bike for you. Take it home, take it for a spin, ride it to the track. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to beginners right. uh, because it does have a lot of horsepower and does have strong braking power, but if you've got some experience on a motorcycle and you're looking for the full package, fun, fast track day package that can get you around town real quick and look good with your buddies, this is the motorcycle for you.
Well, even though we had some lousy weather and some wet roads, you still seem to be uh, having a bit of fun out there. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you. It's great. Great job.